Hello guys, welcome back to Our Vision Farm. Just wanted to show you our quick, quick little 15 minute project. We grabbed a piece of our field fencing that we are 70% uh, sure Boba can't get out of based on the fact from the other day where she got into the sheep area and she could not figure out how to get out despite the sheep headbutting her and chasing her. So we took a little strip of that just between me and the kids, put a couple T-posts, used zip ties to fasten the fence into the T-post and to our chain link fence that's already existing here. So we didn't have to worry about this wall. And what we got here is just a little pen in a nice shaded area for little Miss Boba over here. Um, I finally just wanted her out of our patio. It was getting to be very messy. We were getting ants in our patio and in our house because of the food that she was making a mess with was attracting the ants. So we also have these that are not being used right now. So we're just propping it against the fence because Boba can technically push and dig around here and get out. So we're gonna put these to just kind of help reinforce and push against her doing that. We have two of them. I think the other one should go on that side because that side is kind of long too. So the kids are doing that and she has her, I'm going to put a bigger water container in here so that could actually be her food dish guys. So that silver one will be her food dish. I have a big long rectangle tub that could be her water dish. We made ourselves a little makeshift door. We shouldn't have to go in and out of here too much unless we want to get her out for some outdoor grazing time. So I just made myself a little door like this just for us to fit in here and I'll just bungee it closed whenever it's not in use. She has grass in there right now. She's going to probably root all that up very quickly. But she has the shade from this large tree over here and some crepe myrtles. She has some dirt and just a nice little area for her to still be outside and she's close to our guard dog that stays back there and guards the farm at nighttime and pretty close to our house so if anything we can hear her if there is a predator out here but we really don't have predator problems because of our Pyrenees that literally stays right there and barks at everything at nighttime so I'm not too concerned about her um, not being safe out here. We have our other pigs over there as well. So this is her new little area, just very, very temporarily until we fix our back area up. And so she, st she still gets to be out here and enjoy the outdoors, but not necessarily be inside of our screens in patio. So, okay, you guys got that. You gotta move those sticks a little bit so it rests down on the ground. But this was a very easy, I think we got this up in what, maybe 15 minutes between me and the kids. And it's a nice little setup for her. So we're going to get her some food in here, get her in here. She was just in here a minute ago while we were putting it all together. But she, she went back out before we got the end closed off. Can I go get her? So that is our, yeah you can go get her. That is our little solution for now for Boba the pig since our electric netting did not work. It just did not work not just it probably would have worked for her but the actual fence is not working so we got to figure out all right so <laughs> she's in the mud um, I think we got to move some of these sticks so that this rests down more move that big stick a couple that are in the way so these are just acting as another barrier for her to not push out under. We probably will also get some stakes. I think like the little ground stakes that you pound into the ground. If we need to use these because we are getting chicks soon in August, we're probably going to have to use these. So if Boba is still living in here by then, we'll just get some ground stakes from Walmart or order them off Amazon and pound them in every foot or so. That way um, she has more trouble getting out from the bottom. So Mariah's getting Boba in right now. <laughs> Alright, be careful. Alright, Boba. And we got to put something on that side. I see the fence kind of lifted on that side. I wish I had some stakes right now, but I think they've all been used for something. She wants a mud bath. 
So when she digs herself a nice little hole, we get to fill it up with water and she'll have a mud bath. Let me get the water container. No, the silver one, the little dog bowl she has now will be her food container. But this is what we, we were using for her water when she was inside of our patio. Because she cannot lift this when it's full of water, it's too heavy. That's another issue with pigs, their water situation. They like to flip over the water so that they can mud bathe. And you just have to continue filling up their water all day long. But for right now, the size that she is now, this filled with water is too heavy for her to lift up with her nose. So I will put this on this wall that I think she can slip out of under. So this should hold, this should hold or block this area. Water in your data. Here, you're gonna fill this one up with water. So that should block this because she can get out through here. This is where I could use some stakes to dig it. But hopefully the weight of this water container will stop her. Yeah, I don't know about this. We'll have to see. I think she'll be distracted enough in here. You could just stick the hose in there and let it fill. And we gotta get her some food in that bowl. So empty that one out and we could put food in it. So worst case scenario, we'll be here. So Boba will be somewhere in our yard if she does get out of here. And then we'll just troubleshoot and uh, if we really have to, we'll go to Walmart and get some ground stakes and stake the fence more to the ground. She can't get out of the chain link side, I know that. She probably can't get out on these two walls. So the only walls, or we could put this cage too. This cage can be used for something. Um, yeah, let's put this cage here because I feel like this is a weak spot over here. Press it up against there. So she's kind of like she's trapped in there. So she can't get out here. The only other spot I'm worried about is right here. Do you think we could find something um, to put in there? Uh, we'll try to look around our yard and see if we can find something. Sticks. You know we have some poles too. Do you think the metal poles would work? Or just sticks for now? Yeah. Let's just try some sticks for now. Alright, so that is our little morning project for now. Just wanted to get it done really quick, really simple, things we already had laying around. Also, little Boba needed a little, some type of shelter just in case we get one of those really heavy downpours. Although it's summertime here in Florida, if anything pigs like to be refreshed by the rain. But just in case, if it was winter time that definitely would not work for her but I just put another little pet cage that we had in here and used the tarps that came with this um, little chicken coop thingy and just strapped it on there she's probably gonna tear it all down but uh, let's just see if it works for now I put some blocks on top so that um, it'll weigh it down a little bit but if she does tear that down I can just figure out maybe cut a chunk of heavier tarp material and zip tie it up on there but for now, just in case, we're supposed to get some rain this afternoon. So if she wants to hide from the rain, she can go in there. Hopefully she'll figure it out. Most likely she won't really even care because our pigs in the back really don't care when it rains. They're out and unless it's like really thundering, that's when they hide in their little enclosures. But like I said, this is very temporary. So just wanted to add that in there fit through the squares this type of fencing is smaller in the bottom and then it gets bigger and bigger as it goes up but she can't reach the really big ones so she can't get out through there and that day she was trapped in in with the sheep she had trouble getting out of these like she would get stuck around her neck area so she definitely can't fit but i'm not too worried about it she has good enough space right now all to herself and um that's still filling up yeah. So get her some food in that dish. That'll keep her plenty busy. She has some grass and some logs to dig under. And find all kinds of bugs and treats. You happy, Boba? 
I had her in that dog cage all day yesterday until we figured out what we were going to do. We ran out of time yesterday because we went out to um, Silver Glen Springs in the afternoon. So our job for yesterday was to cut the grass, uh, weed whack all the edges, and uh, we cleaned out all of the animal water containers with the pressure washer because those were getting a lot of gunk and algae on them. So by the time we finished all that, it was already time to go because we were going to meet family at Silver Glen Springs. And we had a nice time. That place is really beautiful. But we ran out of time because I wanted to build Boba, her little pen, and build the sheep, their next area. But my husband ended up cutting the whole grass and we just left the sheep back here. But we didn't have a chance to do this yesterday, but I had cleaned out my patio. Definitely didn't want the pig back in our patio. So we kept her in the cage. Kept her in the cage just overnight. And so now she's definitely excited and happy to be in a bigger area from being trapped in that dog cage all night. Now she's munching on some food. But that is our project for today. Wanted to show you guys and we should be having our neighbor pop on by very soon. So this is gonna be the end of this video. If you guys need a very temporary little um, animal pen for some type of farm animal, this works really good. At least for Boba at this size. If she was any smaller, this would not work for her. But I really love the, the T-post and the, the zip ties and it just makes a very quick movable pen for any type of animal we've been using it for sheep the only animal it really didn't work for was when we had buddy the cow because he was so strong even the stainless steel zip ties we were using he was popping those out somehow and he dented the fence yeah he would dent the the fence because it was flimsy so let me find some bungee cords to seal this, this up like to tie it and then oh, yeah. Like we tie it yeah we can Use a couple pieces of wire to just close up our fence. We shouldn't be having to come in here too much. I figure when she's eating all this grass down, um, we'll just open this up and grab her and bring her out to graze in the yard. But at least for a couple weeks, she'll be good in here. We won't have to go in and out too much unless she's tossing her food bowl everywhere. Then we do have to go in. All right, so Jaden's going to seal that up. That is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed our little daily farm project for today. And we'll be back with another video very soon. So make sure you subscribe and you turn your notifications on so you get notified as soon as we post the next video. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.